So here is a list of symbols that we have to know in this course. Population mean, nu, that's a Greek letter. Population variance, sigma square. Population standard deviation, sigma. Sample mean, x bar. Sample variance, s square. Sample standard deviation, s. So you see that for population, we have Greek letters. And for samples, we have the English letters, and that's one memory aid. And this is a list you have to know. And there's one more, and that is uh, summation, and that's the uppercase sigma. Mode. Now, mode of a data is the most frequently frequently occurring value in the data. A data may have no mode, one mode, or more than one modes. If all data values are different from each other, then there is no mode. The mode of this list 3666779 is six because six occurs most frequently. It occurs three times, even though seven occurs more than once, but just because something occurs more than once doesn't make it a mode. Uh, it has to occur um, at least as many times as the maximum thing. And six is the one that occurs three times and nothing else occurs three times. So six is the only mode here. Now, but in the next set, if we remove one of the sixes from the previous data and we have three, six, six, seven, seven, nine, then there are two modes, six and seven, because they both occur more frequently than anything else. They both occur twice. If a data has only one mode, it is called unimodal. If it has exactly two modes, it's called bimodal. Median. Median is the value that lies in the middle of a data that has been arranged in ascending or descending order. Doesn't matter which order, but it either has to be ascending or descending. So if there are two values in the middle after you have arranged it in ascending or descending order, then the midpoint of those two values is the median. So for example, if you have 3, 5, 7, 10, 20, so you can clearly see that 7 is in the middle. Uh, we have two values on the left of it, two values on the right of it. So 7 is in the middle. Therefore, 7 is the median for this data. Whereas uh, if we have 3, 5, 7, 8, 10, 20, now you see that 7 and 8 both are in the middle because there are two values on the left of this pair and two values on the right of this pair. And there's not one single value which uh, is in the middle. So seven and eight are in the middle. So therefore now the median will be the midpoint of seven and eight. And we know that the midpoint of two numbers is obtained by adding them and dividing them by two. So in this case, the median is 7.5. Mean. Mean of a data is found by adding all the values and dividing by their, uh, by adding all the values and dividing by their count. So for example, if we have to find the mean of these four numbers, 23, 56, 77, and 82, so we will add them and divide by four, so we get 59.5. And in general, the mean, median, and mode um, of a data do not have to be the same. However, it is possible for a data to have the same mean, median, and mode. For example, a perfectly symmetric distribution has same mean, median, and mode. And here's an example, numerical example. Consider three, four, five, 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 six, seven. So the mean is obtained by adding all of them and dividing by seven because these are seven values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we get so when you add them, you get 7, 12, 17, 22, 20, 35. 35 divided by 7 is 5. So the mean is 5. And we can see that the median is also 5 because this 5 is the central value. This is already arranged in ascending order. So the central value that we see here is 5, which is the median. And the mode is also 5 because 5 is the most occurring value. So a data can have the same mean, median, and mode, uh, but it doesn't have to.